All right, how y'all doing? Me just like you. Let's play some more Skyrim. Um, we are here in front of the Hunting Brew Meadery, and you know what? If you are short on gold and you just started the game and you're in the middle of the Thieves Guild quest line and you've done the first two main quests, I believe, the Dampened Spirits quest. If you're up to the Dampened Spirits quest and you've got Malice, this dude here. What have installed you got behind the counter at the Hunting Brew Nothing Meadery. I highly recommend <laughs> that you go and rip off all this black briar meat. Now, now the meat is black briar meat, okay? Because these are all worth 25 gold a pop. And you could do it easily enough. Right behind Malice's back, he's the best manager in the world, alright? He lets you steal his meat. Yeah. Click, 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 click. And you can go throughout the entire meadery and come up with 150 plus bottles of meat and they're each worth about well not about they're worth exactly 25 gold a pop so you can make a quick 2000 gold simply by raiding all these <coughs> right <laughs> And the ones on the tables are, you know, just do those for shits and giggles if you're like, if you got like a thrill seeking uh, streak in you. They're kind of hard to get. Especially these ones over here. But you can also go in the meadery itself. Make sure you shut the door so you can't be seen. And if you want you his help to, to get out of the way. Some of the finest mead in Skyrim. You're in the right place. Oakley Doakley. Now, you are going to go away, right? Time to go to bed. We'll just apply the spell of fast waiting here. And Shazam. He's gone to bed. Great. Now, wait a minute. Who sees me? Whoa, whoa, wait, wait. <laughs> You're going to bed now, right? The game just respawned you, but you are now going to go up the stairs and go to bed, right? Atta boy. Nighty night. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Good. So now I'm just going to apply the spell of rapid rip off and rip off all the mead in all these barrels here, okay? So here we go now. Look, 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 and there she blows. How do we do? Food. There you go. 165 bottles of mead on the wall. And we got them all. Yeah. 25 bucks or rather 25 steps in some pop. You can take those back to any fence. There's stolen items. And sell them. And, well, you know, Malice is a fence, <laughs> and he's not too bright of a fence either. Let's sell it back to him. Uh, first of all, let's get our selling apparel on. If it's not on already, it is on. Let's gobble down a make more money potion. There we go. Potion of fortified barter. Leg, leg. What brings you to Whiterun? Got some juicy goods to sell? <laughs> yeah, Usual I do. Usual guild rate. Let's take a look at him. I got a whole bunch of black briar meat. Are you interested? <laughs> Here we go. And he can't even afford everything that we've got on board. So let's we'll sell him what he can't afford. There we go. A quick thousand gold. Cha ching. Do me a favor. So don't miss that. To Maven. Tell her everything's well at hand down here. Okay. okay. <laughs> Everything's under control, eh? Okay, no problem. And does it respawn? No. Um, I've waited 10 days in here and none of that meat will respawn. But it will respawn every time you reload the game. So like I said, if you're short on cash... Um, oh, wait, 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 wait. I think we got the dragon here. Okay, okay. Shields up, Scotty. Let's get the right apparel on. Process. That's all my archery gear. Uh, I'm just gonna guess that it's a frost dragon. Just guess. And check the damage rating on my scorcher. That's correct. That's good. Okay, where are you? Good. 
There it is. Okay, he's far enough away. Okay, we're good. Um, let's get on with these. Um, this is supposed to be a, an additional jobs run. Okay, that's what this this and the following videos are all about. Doing additional jobs for the Thieves Guild. Why would you want to do this? Well, what you do is uh, when you do all these jobs, um, you start unlocking fences all around Skyrim. And fences are vendors that will buy anything off you. You know, they don't just buy specific items; they buy anything, and they'll even buy stolen goods. And as you continue to do all these jobs, um, you'll eventually get what's known as these special reputation jobs. Okay, so basically, each job that you get—I've already got two two jobs on board. Okay, I've got this numbers job here. Uh, make changes in the ledger at the Pond Prod and Ripton, okay, and this heist job, retrieve the emeralds from the Solitude Stables in Solitude, okay, and there's four cities of influence, okay, Solitude, Windhelm, um, Markarth, and Whiterun, and once you do five jobs in any of those cities, you get what's known as a special job of reputation, I think it's called, or a city of influence job, and then when you do that job, you'll either add a new vendor to the Ragged Flagon down in the Thieves Guild, or add a fence and increase the amount of gold that all your fences have, up to a maximum of 4,000 gold. So if you do all the City of Influence jobs, all four City of Influence jobs, Mark Karth, Windhelm, Whiterun, and Solitude, you'll have four or five fences at your disposal all around Skyrim, each with four thousand gold all right so that's the whole point of this and that's what we're gonna do so we start off with this um well we're going back to Riften eventually to turn in the job so let's start off with this one this heist job here retrieve the emerald emerald rather from the solitude stables of solitude let's go there now and do it to it is there a dragon here too Okay, we're good. Okay, so let's check the time. It is 1.19 in the p.m. Is the stables open? Yes, it's open. Now, any job involving a business, the best thing to do is just run in, pull off the job quickly. Don't even bother being sneaky about it. What am I doing? Changing ledgers? No, stealing something. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Forget about being sneaky, sneaky. The best thing to do when you're doing one of these jobs in a business, in a place of business, just go during business hours, run in as quickly as you can, find the uh, the object, the objective, and pull it off right under their noses. Here we go. Grabby, grabby. Up and out. Wait a minute. Is there anything here we want? Yeah, what the hell? Yeah, what the hell? Yeah, what the hell? Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, boy. Might as well, eh? <laughs> Since we're in a thieving mood. And out the door we go. Next. Numbers job. Numbers jobs are always changing the ledgers in businesses. Okay, so this one is make changes in the ledger at the Pond Prawn in Riften. So let's do that. The pond Prawn is just over here. Right next to the bean barb. Check the time. It is during business hours. That That's perfect. Everything in the Pond Prawn is downstairs in the basement. Whether it's the ledger or the strong box. To the pond prong. How you doing? Come on in, take a look around. Once again, don't try to be sneaky. Just do it quick. Run in. Go and sneak bones to make sure you can't be seen. Quickly zap up the ledger and out you go. That's it. Whole point of not going, or rather the whole point of going during business hours is to avoid having to uh, do any lock picking to break in. That's right. Apply the KISS principle. Keep it simple, stupid. Yeah. Um, now, we're going back to the Thieves Guild. I'm trying to find my way back there. I know where it is. It's right over this way. In front of the temple. Hang to the right of the temple. And around the way. And here we are. Open, says me. What? Stand, no. 
Let's take a look, look at our moolah situation. I have 8,000. I think that's enough. I think that's enough. Where's Niruin? Nir Niruin? Niruin? Got a minute? Wanted to say something. No time for idle chatter. Mercer you? is no. awaiting your presence. Okay, I don't want to talk to Mercer right now. I'm looking for this guy right here. A lot of people are beginning to get impressed with you here. Me included. Just wanted to let you know. Oh, isn't that nice? Okay, can you train me to be a better archer? I'll show you what I know. Alright. And I want to get up to 80. Do I have the goal to do it? Yes, I do. So archery is finally up to 80. And now I can finally level up. Me and I... More marksman training. Okay, I yeah, will do. And now I can finally level up. I've been saving this. So I didn't waste uh, opportunities to level up. <laughs> I did anyways, because I had to go past the level. Okay, so there we go. We got some perks. One of those perks is going right away into Overdrawn, the fifth and final perk of Overdrawn. Bows do twice as much damage. Actually, I just want to, for demonstrational purposes here, let's put on all my bow gear. It is on. Crosis is on. Okay, so my best bow is now cranking out 128 damage. Now, after we apply this perk, Yes, I'm sure I want that brick. Okay, so now all bows do twice as much damage, and I'm sure that's based on the base damage of the bow, not the enhanced damage of the bow, okay? So now we're up to 143, right? Whopping 143 damage. And let's just do a quick save here. Now, let's gulp down a bow damage potion. Potion of Fortify Marksmanship. Bows do 78% more damage for 60 seconds. Gulp down one of those. Take a look at our bow damage now, and we are now at a whopping 254 damage, All right? So that's what we're looking at here. All right, so, reload. Voila. You stand up. Now, next. Let's head back to the Ragged Flag and But first, we should take a nap. Get the rest of the bonus. Check active effects. Thief stone rested, that's very good. Just get some barter thing happening there. Because we're going to do a whole bunch of selling. Thieves guild hood, and we're good. Oh, Tenilia. There she is. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Where do you think you're going? First, I'm going to gulp down a potion here. A make better prices potion, potion of fortified barter. You haggle for twenty percent better prices. Leg leg. And welcome to the cozy little family. Yeah, Take yeah, yeah. Look. No time to waste. We're on the clock here. Potion no no, wait, not potions, food. Food, here we go. So the rest of the Blackbriar Mead. Nine hundred and eighty four septums and she's got a thousand, she can afford it. Cha ching. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> she only got sixteen left. Uh, let me take that take that. Can you afford one of these? No, you can't. Can you afford one of my crappy potions? Miner something, anything? No, I don't have any of those on board. Okay. You're tapped out. Alright then. 